Welcome back to Giants Franchise. We are following a week 14 bye, and we play our dreaded rivals. Heated rivalry that is Philadelphia against New York. And the Eagles will be coming to East Rutherford, New Jersey to take on our 89 overall team. We do have the benefit of coming out of the bye week. However, I opted for XP instead of rest. So we might be about as tired as we've been the entire season, which means we're going half pads and we are going backups. Backups, backups, backups. It's got to be what it is. And what it is is what it could be if it is, uh, isn't, aren't. Well, maybe actually. We'll see if we want to continue to uh, do it when it is. And man, if you guys didn't like that breakdown, I don't know what to tell you. What I can tell you though is have you seen this new like animation? It's unbelievable. It's fireworks. Give it a give it a test run. We got a little bit of fatigue back. Didn't see any injuries on uh on defense there. Offense, clean bill of health as well. Now, if you recall, at the end of last episode, Jeffrey Simmons is back. Darnay Holmes is back. Aziz Ojolari has been back. Jalen Waddell still injured. Nothing we can really do about it right now. He'll be back when he's back. But the fact that we bring back Jeffrey Simmons today is going to be huge. And yes, I know Orlando Yarbrough actually played pretty well uh, in his in his uh, opportunities, which were pretty limited, but he did play well. I'm going to move him up to rush D tackle three. Still got to like Jeffrey Simmons and Dexter Lawrence as a top two, but he's earned a bit more playing time. That's for sure. And Caleb Claiborne, of course, is back from injury as well. Also, what do you guys think of the new lights in the background? I like them. So that's the right opinion to have, clearly, because I said it. Man, you wouldn't you wouldn't think of that looking at my mock drafts. What I figured out, and this is actually big information, what I figured out from the comment section of my mock drafts is anything that I say has a 0% chance of happening. There's no shot. But you who disagree with me, you are 100% right, and I appreciate you bringing it to my attention. Look at this season from Nick Duvall. Coming up on 1,400 yards, maybe 20 touchdowns this season. You never know. And only one catch away from breaking the century mark with 100 catches. Might be a little bit tougher today. I see the rain coming down. Kind of a, a gross one here in New Jersey. And I'm almost surprised at this point in the season that it's not snow. Can get quite cold in New Jersey. But it's going to be... Maybe a little bit of slush going on. A little bit of sleet, potentially. But definitely a lot of rain. And we will start with the football. Corey Bohorquez kicks it back deep to Greg Sheldon. I've seen some people say they want to see him get more involved on offense. Uh, there's just not really a role for him, honestly. I think he is so good in his specific role for us. Do I really want to get my best return man potentially injured on offense? I don't really. He's just so good doing what he does, which is returning kicks and punts. I don't really feel the need to press my luck. I saw somebody want him to move to running back. I don't see the value with that. He's just fast. And as I record this today, the Giants made some moves in real life. Franchise tag Saquon Barkley with the non-exclusive tag, meaning a team could potentially sign him. Giants would have a chance to match, and then they would be awarded two first round picks if uh, the Giants do not match. So nobody's, nobody's going to do it. So uh, Saquon right now is franchise tag. I expect that he's going to sign an extension at some point and be a Giant for uh, the foreseeable future. But the big one is a player no longer on this Giants team. Daniel Jones signed a monster contract today. Where's Saquon going? No, actually, though, where is he going? He was going to run a route, and then he said, you know what, I'm tired. Let me give Cody Bailey a hug. I tried to just dump it off to him because he was the most open. I don't really know what else I can throw here. And Saquon's like, you know what, no, I'm going to sprint back into the pocket as fast as possible. What are we doing? What are we doing here, man? We'll check out the Eagles' defense to start. This game continues to amaze. Josh Sweat. Still in town at left end, Monty Rankin 
at right end. Jordan Davis and Alex Ramirez, rookie defensive tackle, getting some playing time. Hassan Reddick off the edge, only an 82 overall. Tremaine Edmonds up to an 89 with Kenny Young maybe getting some playing time as well. Alan Dubose, 87 speed, 88 agility, 90 acceleration for the rookie linebacker. 6'1", 222, not really much of a pass rusher, I take it. He's going to be a speed cover guy. Avante Maddox is their CB1. No more Darius Slay. But they do have the now one-year starter Paul Burke and Keegan Hicks. Not a great secondary. Former Giant Jabril Peppers and Derwin James, of course. Jordan Whitehead, too. But the corners, not that good. I think we could look to take advantage of them today. So let's let's go ahead and make that a point of emphasis. I thought he's running a comeback route. It's going to be picked. It's going to be picked. I thought he was running a comeback. And it was clear that that was going to be a streak. Avante Maddox with the interception. The 14th on the season for Cody Bailey. I, I could have sworn it was a comeback route. And, uh... Nope. Can I skip this, dude? How many times do I have to watch my mistake? A uh, really frustrating start to the game. I, I feel like I've made... You know, such a small amount of mistakes compared to where we were earlier in the season and series as Dontrell Cobb's going to chase down Jalen Hurts. He's going to be a problem today. He's going to be a problem. What we have to do is just simply account for the quarterback run, and I think we're going to be able to pressure him in the pocket. Usually when we play the Eagles, Hurts freaks out in the pocket. We're able to take advantage of that uh, paranoia, if you will, and we're able to really disrupt their offense. If he's figured that stuff out, though, that is going to be a real problem for us. We've seen what he can do in real life lately. Got to figure out how to stop him in the game. Second and six for Philadelphia. It's not a run. It's play action. They're going to take a shot. Dory Jackson in coverage. Allows it. Who is that? Pat Bolin. Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Miles Sanders still at running back. Jeremiah Hall at fullback. A.J. Brown. It is Pat Bolin. How do I remember that? 6'4", 225 with 92 speed. It's not a bad rookie receiver. So I have Demario Jenkins, but not a great receiving core. And there's basically no depth with a Devontae Smith injury and a Chase Claypool injury too. Man, they are really, really thin right now. Tight end Dallas Goddard, Mark Whitlock was a Stanford tight end. Teammate of Nick Duvall in the same draft class. Jordan Mailata at left tackle, John Simpson, Chandler Meadows, Solomon Kindley, and Lane Johnson. This is not the Eagles team that we're used to seeing. A lot of injuries, a lot of older players leaving. I don't know how we're supposed to cover that. And Miles Sanders leaps toward the end zone and finds it. Last thing I expected was him to take flight like an actual Eagle. Yeah, I mean, I had to cover the middle there. So I was just caught in a bad spot with John Boss. Sanders, good change of direction, and then just leaped right into the chest of Glenn Gore. And then we have handshakes all around from Sirianni. Oh, what a douche. Gonna be 7 0, Philly. We'll look to bounce back. Big mistake early. A lot of time left to fix that mistake. Let's run at that other defensive tackle. It's not a bad run from Saquon. I know it doesn't seem like anything crazy, two yards, but it was closer to three <laughs> little victories at this point. It's going to set us up for a big bomb here off play action. Do we have it? I don't know. Get in front of that, Kadarius. Really cannot hold on. Bailey going to start out one for four for three yards and an interception. Greg Sheldon has found his way onto the field. Yeah, bench Kadarius, Tony. Get him out of here. Don't want to see him. All right. This game is so terrible, it's actually unbelievable. So Cody Bailey's got an ability where he can't be inaccurate, and they're going to call this a perfect pass. Set his feet, Nick Duvall wide open. I'm confused as to what happened here because the ball just kind of goes right past his hands. We're going to punt. We are going to punt. I don't know, dude. The game doesn't want me to, per to participate today and, and be a, a happy participant. I'm just going to be not competitive, clearly. Ball came loose. We're not going to recover. <laughs> Big hit by Marquis Skandrick, and he's going to help Derwin James up. Why? Why? The last thing I want to see right now is sportsmanship. Oh, my goodness. John Boss, big tackle, but it's a big gain. Man coverage across the board. 
We're going to pass commit here. I thought that a QB draw would be a possibility. Just classic stick. And it's second and five. Ooh, I don't know if I like man coverage here against Dallas Goddard. Especially in play action. He's going to uh, stay in a block, though. Pass is completed to Bolin in front of Adoree Jackson. I got lost there. Had Dallas Goddard actually been running a route, it would have been a touchdown to him. For sure. Uh, instead, it's just a first down. It's a run. Oh, Thibodeau, bad angle. Oh, we're going to lose this game. We are going to lose if we don't make wholesale changes right now. Figure it out. Pass commit. Man coverage. Figure it out. We're running with it. Hurts under pressure. Sacked by Ojolari. Massive play. We needed it. Aziz got to the quarterback. Do we blitz on third and 12? Answer is yes. We are going to pass commit as well. Take away the middle of the field. Under pressure, down he goes. It's Dontrell Cobb. Kiss the ring. The king of New York. Dontrell Cobb into the backfield. Back-to-back -back sacks for the big blue wrecking crew. And that one's got to hurt. Nah, it was a real... <laughs> I, I know what I'm doing, dude. It was a bad line. I, I know. Uh, Eagle's going to try a field goal here. Is that Greg the Leg? I actually can't see the name on it. It might be Zerline. And his kick is actually just going to sneak in. Going to be 10 0 Philadelphia. It is Greg Zerline. Is that Brandon Stevens on the hold? Who is that? You know what would be awesome? You guessed it. How about some offense? Change of direction. Evan Neal hits somebody. Get up the field. We're going deep for Duval. Oh, and he catches it. Big time play. Slump buster for the giant offense. Nick Duval getting sturdy. I don't know if that's what that is, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a move, surely. Bailey put himself under pressure. That's me. You're welcome. Delivers a strike down the field to Nick Do-It-All Duval. And that is how you go out and make a play. Get a little bit of momentum back. Barkley up the middle. Oh, Tony, you're supposed to block him the other way. Doesn't matter. Big gain. We'll take it. Saquon now up to four for 24. And we are on the 25-yard line. Let's dial up a screen. We got speed on the outside and in the slot. Could potentially go that way. But the screen is going to be open here. Uh, you know, those blocks are fine enough. The six yards, I'll take it. I feel like those should be a touchdown with blocking like that. But I, it just doesn't end up uh, working out exactly how I want, you know? A little bit unfortunate. We're going to throw a dart for Smith. Back in the end zone. Touchdown, Larry. Let's go. Good route. Looked like it was zone coverage. Probably covered too. Bailey just throws it to the corner. And Larry Smith was as open as you can be. I think the safeties had to have been in deep halves. Uh, we just took full advantage. Can't really account for that speed on the outside. You got to respect it. They were in a cover two defense. Corners played down shallow. Easy score. All right, that's how you get... Oh, say it with me. Rhymes with pounce sack. Bounce back. <laughs> I think maybe 20% of the people are, are uh, going to be guessing what I was going to say there. Pretty good rate, to be honest. That's the end of the first quarter. I don't know what's happening. This is one of those episodes where uh, people who clearly have no idea what it means to be drunk or high go, Oh, Bengals so high this episode. This dude's drunk. Yeah, dude, you caught me off my ass right now sometimes you just find yourself in a silly mood i don't know third and seven do we pass commit oh i would have i would have Ooh, good throw hurts we're gonna get the football back full second quarter to work with and we are historically a second quarter team which is weird normally you have the second half teams or the first half teams we are just particularly effective in one quarter and it's been enough to win sometimes Gonna run. Barkley. Again, it doesn't look so bad, but it's probably only two yards. They're a good looking two yards, given you know what we were up against, though. That's the review. Uh, second and eight. Let's uh let's get a little spacing. How about that? Weathers be underneath. I mean, Duval can't get off the block. So that's that's already off to a bad start. Or he can't get off the line. 
frustrating. Good pancake from Evan Neal, though. He's giving the dude CPR on the ground. First down and 10. That's a pick. Oh, we're very lucky, because that was a little bit brain dead. No signs of life here. Uh, second and four. Uh, just ran into a brick wall, didn't we? Third down and four. The ball's going to come out quickly to Nick Duvall, and we're going to be stopped short, and then we're going to go, like, halfback dive or something. Duvall? Going to be stopped short. It's going to be fourth and inches. Well, we might as well go halfback dive or something. All right, so this is actually a cool play. I don't know if I've ever run this, but it is a dive with a hot or an alert where you can actually just throw a, a quick screen here. We are going to just stay up the middle, and Barkley will convert from the 44 on fourth and inches. You go for it. I mean, Duvall's going to be wide open here, surely, right? Mm, we're going to throw that up the seam. Kadarius Tony down the middle of the field. That's an awesome catch. I mean, he dropped the one earlier, but that's an incredible catch. I was really trying to get that up. I think the ball came out maybe a little bit too late for my liking. Nah, I was, I was actually about right on time. Right to the other hash. That was perfect. Seeing Greg Sheldon in the game. I don't want to throw it to him, but it was just not a good route. Larry Smith is open. That's touchdown number two. Larry finds the end zone again. I really wanted Greg Sheldon to get an offensive touchdown. It just wasn't to be. It was like the most rounded uh, dig of all time. Super deep in. You got to make that sharper or something. It was it was like he was running uh, a deep crosser, and that was, that was what Larry Smith was running. Uh, we take the lead, though, which is awesome. 14-10 after a bit of a rough start. Uh, we've really settled down a bit, and we're starting to find our groove. So we have hotter routes right now, which home team can hot route faster. I guess that's an ability. Sanders will get the give. Dontrell Cobb shuts him down, but it's a five-yard gain. So did he really? Did he really shut him down? We want to get rattled receivers, which is a way team has trouble catching. That would really make their offense one-dimensional. As Hertz is looking to scramble, he's going to take off. And Bost, all right, hit him as he slid. That's all fair. Third and two, let's pinch, but it's probably a pass anyway. So I might be screwing ourselves. It is a pass. Hertz, maybe looking to run. Cobb in pursuit, brings him down. Kiss the ring. Dontrell Cobb for the second time today with a big sack on Jalen Hertz. Look at the closing speed from 52. Look at Dontrell Cobb go. That's how you make a play. Instincts. Athleticism. The Dontrell Cobb experience at Mike Linebacker. Love to see it. We'll get the football back. Four and a half minutes to go. Let's get a good drive going. Good drive. Maybe eat up some clock. Go into the halftime up 21-10. Or, or up That's the goal. Go and a half up 21-10. Oh, Cody Bailey in the zone, by the way. Could be a bit of a game changer. A little bit of a block there. Barkley making a man miss. And look at Saquon Barkley juking Derwin James out of his shoes. All right, this might not be a long drive like I thought. This might be a quick strike and play some defense, get the football back, and uh, go up big. We, I, I was really supposed to be three or four yards. We got about 15. And we're sacked. I think we're out of the zone now. Oh, what just happened? That was so quick. Is that open? Can we find that? Weathersby takes a shot. Hospital ball from Bailey. It's third and 16. We haven't scored. We haven't wasted the clock. Uh, taking the sack there was just disastrous. I mean, no two ways about it. That was a thing that really we didn't want to have happen. Oh, my God. Is Larry Smith going to have one of those games? You guys didn't get to see it because I accidentally permanently deleted the file. But Larry Smith had 200 yards receiving. In a game where he had no touchdowns because Nick Duvall had four of them. Larry Smith is playing really well this game so far. Already with two touchdowns here in the first half. That's an incredible catch. He might be the focal point of this, this offense here. Get up the field, Saquon. That'll work. And that is the two-minute warning. So, you know what? It's working out in the end. I don't know if they're going to get the football back with more than, oh, I don't know, 40 seconds, depending on how we play this. Second and three. 
dial up a draw, and it runs me right into Jordan Davis. When I'm telling you I had no control over Saquon Barkley the entire play, I mean it. Could not do anything. Third and inches. Let's get a running back back in. Classic. I picked the play without actually looking. We're going to get the snap off in time anyway. It doesn't matter. Saquon's still going. We got flags. It's going to be hold, and that one's coming back. Good work, boys. All right, now it's third and 10. Clock has stopped. I'm looking at Larry Smith here as a potential savior, uh, but Nick Duvall's wide open. He is wide open. Lower the shoulder. 88, keeping the offense alive. Big first down. Going to be first and goal from the eight. And we are managing the clock well. 35 seconds to go here in the first half. Probably going to turn two clock on after this play, or turn it off, I should say. And um, could be a timeout spot. I see 15 seconds left. It's second and goal. I'm not really worried about the clock right now. Kadarius Tony, just go down, buddy. We'll call a timeout. I think that really should have been a touchdown. Couldn't find it, though. Third and goal. Oh, what do we do here? Considering a run, really am. Is it four down territory? I think we just got to take the points, make it a touchdown game. Uh, we're going to run the ball. Barkley back up the middle, and we are shut down. Uh, maybe the wrong decision there. Maybe the wrong decision. And not even just the run, but we may have had a touchdown if we continued it off the left guard. Yeah, we, we may have, but here was here's what I saw when I made the read. It is 63, Chris Lindstrom and Eric McCoy were combo blocking the D-tackle uh, Nixon here. So I thought DuBose was just going to be completely free to tackle Saquon Barkley in the hole. So I had to just go up the middle uh, and hope that he was going to get blocked or it'd be a shorter uh, path to get there. Tried to bowl him over. Tremaine Edmonds stands up Saquon Barkley. Uh, the, the other angle is, okay, if you think it's going to be one-on-one -on -one in the hole, would you rather a big inside linebacker? Or a slightly smaller linebacker? I don't know. It was a tough spot either way, in my opinion. Would have loved a touchdown there, obviously, but at least we come away with some points. Wyatt Anthony's kick is good. It's 17-10. to 10. Definitely played a lot better down the stretch there. Just, you know, it's those times where we don't actually end up scoring a touchdown. We're right there that end up losing us games. The second half is underway. Kind of a shorter kick than we're used to. There is a lot of win. Claiborne lowering the shoulder. And you know what? It's before the 25, so good result for our special teams. Really with 100 yards exactly. Only down by seven. We've been a little bit more productive than that, although we've had a turnover. Blitz up the middle. Not going to be effective. A Dory Jackson big hit, but they will take five yards every single time if we give it to them. So we need to have better uh, plays than that one for sure. Yeah, that's not a good one. Not a good one. Glenn Gore cannot make the tackle. What are we doing, dude? Cobb wrestling down Miles Sanders after a massive gain. I don't even want to talk about that one. Little Texas right out of the backfield angle from Miles Sanders. And yeah, classic, classic stuff down the field. It's going to be a big gain too. Sanders, multiple broken tackles. Cobb pushes him out of bounds, but it's another 10 yard plus gain for Sanders. Hertz is going to get sacked here. Get him, Thibodeau. Oh, he can't close him down. Hertz looked to slide, but kind of got taken out by Darnay Holmes there. It is second and goal. Micah McFadden in man coverage. We got to switch. Oh, my goodness. It was an excellent switch. Micah McFadden, tackle for loss on Sanders. Got totally, totally out of whack there, but it ends up working out. Big third down. Turnover or field goal. No touchdown here. No touchdowns. Hurt's going to scramble and slides right in front of Caleb Farley. They are going to settle for three. We did the job. We bent a whole lot, but did not break. It's going to be 17 to 13. Need a touchdown. Let's go out. Let's get a touchdown. Let's make this lead something big. We're going to try back-to-back -back runs here after five yards on first down. Let's try a trap. It was blocked somewhat well enough. Just a great play from the defensive tackle. Barkley just not quite able to hit that hole in time. 
And I don't even think that's anybody's fault. I just think, you know, sometimes they make a good play on defense. You got to tip your cap to them. Is Nick Duvall is going to be short? I don't know how that's going to be short, though. I just don't. I mean, we, we dunked it off to him really quickly. There was nothing but space. And boy, did it go away quickly. I thought that was a guaranteed first down. Caleb Farley on, on punt here. All right. I'll make a play, please. please. I'm so sick of Miles Sanders, it's not even funny. Third and seven. Make a play, defense. Big spot here. Big spot. I mean, that flat is wide open, but he's going to junk out of bounds. No, he's not. They marked him dead so quickly. I mean, nobody even touched him. The play was already dead before he got touched. Not complaining. Fourth and one. Eagles going to punt the ball right back. Punt fest right now. Greg Sheldon with an opportunity to return. He's got good speed. You got to turn the corner, man. I, how are you running with him? It's got to be a linebacker against 98 speed to Greg Sheldon. How are we losing that foot race? I know pursuit angles. He didn't have the angle. 99 speed's got to trump that there. There's Larry Smith with a block from Duvall. 15-yard pickup. Let's get Nick Duvall on the outside. Throw it up to him. Go up and make a play. Nick Duvall is a monster. 30-30. to 30. Oh, my goodness. How do you stop that? One-on-one, -on -one, that's your best defensive back, Derwin James. You cannot match up. You can't do it. Cody knew he was going to take a shot, unloaded an accurate ball, just gave him a chance. And when you're six foot four and you can run as well as Nick Duvall can run, and he's in the zone now, by the way, how do you stop that? How do you stop it? You don't. That's the answer. You know, maybe you can hope to contain it, but you're not going to stop Nick Duvall. Not going to happen. I juked back. Why did he stop? Oh, my God. All right, third down and five. Nick Duvall, at the very least here, is going to clear out and open up the middle. Nope, we got one-on-one. -on -one. Duvall, go up and get it. Feet down. They're calling him in. Touchdown, 88. Duvall. Nick Duvall again, man. What do you do about that? <laughs> Not much, clearly. The only question is, did he get two feet down? I think that front foot, first foot, came down inbounds for sure. The only question becomes, was he able to drag the back one? They are not going to review it. That stands as called, touchdown, it's 24-13, big blue. What a play. What a player. Duval actually making a tackle on special teams? I don't even know why he's out there. We have depth at tight end. He's just choosing to be out there, wanting to hit somebody after a touchdown. This guy takes no plays off. What a hero. What a hero. He's going to keep it. Oh, Thibodeau can't get there. Big hit of Keel Edmonds, though. You know, I could have sworn we played option on Jalen Hurts in coach suggestions. We focused on it, yet nobody was there. Was it my user? Definitely could have been. Usually that's the edge responsibility, though. Not an off-ball linebacker, but maybe... Maybe it was on me somehow. It's good defense. Big play Darnay making a nice stop on Miles Sanders. And that is the end of the third quarter. We are holding a slight two-possession lead. Got to continue to improve, take advantage of our opportunities. Not a whole lot of time left. Defense just holds strong. I know we've had some big mistakes. That's for sure. But this is not the time for them. <laughs> Figure it out. That's how you play good defense. Hurts under pressure. Just throws up a prayer. How is that a completed pass? A.J. Brown really hasn't seen a ton of action today. Which his first catch. But was just wide open. And Hurts makes a nice throw on the run. Against the slot blitz. I don't know where he's going to go with the ball. Yep, Miles Sanders. Ah! Second and four. Will they pass here? Let's see. Nope. All right, yes, it will be a pass, and it will be a sack. Is that Orlando Yarbrough? Dude, he's not even supposed to be playing much anymore. Finds his way onto the field and finds his way to the quarterback. Man, let me tell you something about Orlando Yarbrough. This rookie can play. I believe that's his third sack on the season, and he's only appeared in three games, and only two of them did he play significant minutes. This was not one of them. Still finds his way to the quarterback anyway. 
What a stud. Hurts with the throw away. Fourth and 11. They're going to opt to make it a one possession game. Can't say that's too bad of a decision. Defense stepping up. Orlando Yarbrough. This guy makes plays in the clutch. He is a fourth quarter sack machine. That's at least his second. But I think it's his third fourth quarter sack to make a play. Can we get the linebackers? We throw it deep. Kadarius Tony cannot come down with. We're just trying to get Nick Duval going deep down the field here. We're going to get sacked. Oh, ball came loose. Cody Bailey fumbled. Is that recovered by Philadelphia? Oh, it is. Monty Rankin with the recovery. Oh, dude, we're just looking down the field. Nobody wanted to get open. Cody coughs it up. Philadelphia takes over. We can't just go complete run the ball only at this point as Sanders breaks more tackles. There's still eight minutes left to go in the game. We got to run our offense. But on second and 10 there, that is just a really unfortunate result. I, and they are set up perfectly to take advantage now. They will need a two-point conversion, but still, it, it, they're in a way better position than I would like them to be in. Edmonds stop a touchdown. Nope. Whitlock runs through him, throws the ball at the ground. <laughs> Signifies he's done with it. Billy, touchdown. And this two-point conversion would tie up the game if it were to be successful. And here it is. It's a run. And we, we stopped him for a moment. And then Sanders just ran right through our defense. 24-24. And it's a pick. Dude, what am, I, what am I doing? What am I doing this game? I'm throwing it away. I'm throwing it away. Oh, God. That's like a classic old me. Why did I do that mistake? Oh, it's just it's just staring down a receiver and throwing it no matter what. Oh uh, God. I mean there's no there's no window at that moment. There's no window. Ah, oh, Jesus. Now I'll tell you, this would not be an all time throw. But it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be a good one. Hurts. Oh my god, we got nobody there. Sanders it ran a route out of the backfield. And my user linebacker play has gone downhill. It used to be so good. I don't, I only play the game when I record a Giants franchise. Otherwise, I, I do not play the actual game. But I feel like I wouldn't have lost that ability. But I'm just, I'm not able to do anything in run defense. And I just, in man coverage, I'll tell you, if there's anybody who's not covering a linebacker or a running back into the backfield, it's me. And they ran the same play that worked the last time. This freaking tight end shovel pass crap. And Mark Whitlock scores again. Okay, Philly completely in the zone right now. That means home team has trouble catching and they can hot route faster. I don't really think that matters too much. Now, the trouble catching uh, is deeply troublesome to me. I'm not going to lie to you. But you know what? I don't think we're that far from getting them out of it. Jaden Rhodes set up a big block for Saquon here. We're going to have a nice gain. And they're not going to have full momentum anymore. We just got to take that up the middle. I'd cut our losses. Don't want to lose yards. That's, is that a pick? Oh my god, it could have been. It could have been. Uh, if that CB wanted to make a superhuman play the way they do in Madden all the time, that was probably going to the house. Maybe catching a bit of a break by Madden standards, but I think that's a fine play. It's got to be a first down. You know, it's not pretty, but we're getting it done right now. And yeah, Larry Smith has been quiet since I, I shouted him out. I maybe should have cut up quickly. I don't know. I'm just so worried about my receivers not actually having the ability to catch. Especially when we drop the ball as it is. Bailey, just be faster. Be faster. We're never get, we're gonna lose. Third and 13, and my receivers can't catch. Remember that. It could be big. Going deep down the field. Weathersby with a step! Dropped it. Oh, God, why was that? How does he catch up? And it's fourth and 13. Two minutes to go. We kind of have to go for it here. So we get somebody to make a play. I'm just throwing it up to Duval. I mean, we didn't even get to him. Didn't get to him. Rushed it. Why did the CPU want me to go for it there? I feel like a punt, three timeouts. We had time. I really felt like we had time. I can't call a timeout now. And Hurts kept it. Uh, take the football. We got to call a timeout. Dude, play the quarterback. 
What do I have to do to get you to actually play the quarterback like I said? I'm going to try it in here as well. Oh, my God. To run? Big play. Big play. Uh, they're in field goal range, though, so already the game's, like, over. Please throw a pick. Would have been nice. They're going to try a field goal. It's a chip shot. I mean, he doesn't miss this. We're going to be down 34-24 with a minute to go. One timeout. It's not even going to be relevant. Oh, it's, it's, I haven't blown a lead like this in a while. It wasn't too big of a lead, but I just haven't blown a game like this in a while. Very winnable game. You know, we were down a little bit early because of our mistakes, and we put ourselves down again because of the same type of mistakes. Dumb interception. The fumble was tough. But this this was this is a tough loss. Winnable game. Winnable game. Just didn't play smart enough. The Weathersby drop, I think, was pretty big. Maybe you don't want to call that a drop, but I think it was a drop. Is that a pick? Throw out a sack fucking right to him. Uh, yeah, I mean, wh whatever, dude. Game was over anyway. Four turnovers for us. Eagles with zero. And they only win by ten. Something else. That's the game, man. It's, it's a frustrating one. We just got out of our game just started kind of forcing it a bit and that's when you run into mistakes uh cody bailey ends up with three interceptions as a result did have the three touchdowns but overshadowed and he put the ball on the ground too but uh at least two of those are my fault at the end there the pick what are you gonna do saquon averages four yards per carry 18 for 72 plenty of attempts but probably needed to get him a few more uh, and then receiving, Nick Duvall, 6 for 125 and a touchdown. Larry Smith, 69 yards. Nice game from him with two TDs. Uh, two drops from Weathersby. Hate to see those. And then defensively, two sacks for Dontrell Cobb. Yarbrough had one. Aziz Ojolari had one. Obviously no interceptions. Uh, Marquis Skandrick forced a fumble. We did not recover it. It's just a frustrating game. Can't really say much more than that. Funnily enough, Cody Bailey with an upgrade point after the game. A uh, little bit frustrating. Deep accuracy. Let's get that up. Man, I don't even know. It, it wasn't on Cody Bailey, man. I made a couple of brain dead decisions and he, he put the football on the ground. Plus three throw under pressure, I feel like is significant. Plus one throw accuracy short is nice. But the throw under pressure, ooh, playing up to an 89 now. That's big. I mean, it's up to an 87 base now. Really like that. So, uh, these are his things, by the way. Can't really unlock a whole lot more than that until we get him upgraded. Would be nice to get some of these, but unfortunately, we cannot at the moment. Uh, that's the episode. I, I want to get out of here. I'm annoyed at this game. Uh, and it's not, I don't feel like I was cheated for the most part. I just think I made mistakes and we paid for them. We didn't catch any breaks this game. And, you know, to bring it back to real life a little bit. It's the NFL. You don't really get to make mistakes and, and continue to win. So we made mistakes. We lost. We're going to bounce back. Eagles go to 5-9. and nine. Next team we're playing is 5-9. and nine. It's the Detroit Lions. Home field advantage again. Let's take advantage of it this time. That's the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.